morning. Britain, the news you're waking up to. The Prime Minister prepares to meet Donald Trump for the first time since the President declared the US would step in to help sick baby Charlie Gard. Hamburg goes into lockdown ahead of the G20, Germany's second city. Expects 8,000 protesters with world leaders set to arrive later today. A bid to end nuisance requests from charities. An opt-out service is launched as new rules mean fines of £25,000 for fundraisers found to be pestering the public. And making tennis history, Britain's best Wimbledon performance in a generation sees four stars through to the third round for the first time in 20 years with Carl Edmund hoping to make it five later today. And in an exclusive interview this morning, we're talking to the brother of the pop star Ariana Grande about his sister's reaction to the Manchester terror attack and why he's ready to perform in the UK again. Frankie Grande joins us live from LA after eight. Thursday, 6th of July, 2017, live from ITV Studios in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Susanna Reid. Two minutes past seven, our main news. Theresa May is preparing to meet with Donald Trump ahead of the G20 summit. It'll be the first time they've met since he tweeted his support for the campaign to save terminally ill baby Charlie Gard. Hospitals in the United States and Rome have now offered medical treatment for 10-month-old Charlie. Uh, but Great Ormond Street Hospital last night issued a statement saying they won't release him to the Vatican-owned paediatric hospital that has offered him care. Jonathan Swain's in Rome for us this morning. So tell us more about this hospital then, Jonathan. Morning, Ben. Well, the Pope's uh, intervention has really been very significant and uh, Charlie Gar's family will surely be hoping that for them, uh, miracles really can happen. Now, the Pope's hospital just around the corner from here, Ben, have effectively demanded that uh, Charlie Gar be transferred here as soon as possible for experimental treatment. But as you say, Great Ormond Street Hospital have told Good Morning Britain overnight that this is not going to happen because, look, it's not in the best interests uh, of little Charlie. So you have a legal battle, but also you have one now emerging uh, between hospitals in different countries uh, around the world. Now the Pope intervened because not only are people touched back home in Britain but also many Italians are as well and Catholics